Nice. Stay safe. That is the message, isn't it? It is. It is Absolutely. well worth repeating. And it's it's such a there's a difficult balance today because obviously there are people who are really looking forward to going out and you know having that social life again. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But the fact is the pandemic is still here, so we have to be mindful of it. Um, Charlie, I don't know if are you a roller coaster man? No. Theme parks and farms are going to be welcoming visitors for the first time in months. Uh, breakfast, uh, breakfast, John Maguire is at Thorpe Park, very famous uh, amusement park. What's tickling <laughs> That's you, John? you, hasn't it, John? I mean, it you was, are. A, it was a stupid are, question of mine, wasn't it, really? Uh, it was just that, no. Mm -hmm. No elaboration, that I'm was it. No. It. Sometimes you've just got to be honest about these things. So, John, we, we are balanced. <laughs> we're on a balancing act today, aren't we? Because uh, alongside every uh, opening of very different premises, uh, there is a word of caution. Some people, frankly, will be looking at where you are today and thinking, there is no way I'm going to go to an amusement park. Others will be thinking, absolutely, but I want to know what precautions are in place. Yeah, that's exactly right. And that characterises this weekend, Charlie and Nagger, doesn't it? Morning to you. That balance of getting back to normal, having some fun, hopefully, but doing so responsibly. It sounds as if we're being a bit nanny state to a certain extent, but the pandemic is still very much alive, as we all know. We're at Thorpe Park, as you say, surrounded by fantastic roller coasters. Uh, we're going to have a little spin in a minute. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll see that's different. Morning. We've been working very hard since the day we closed our doors in March and we are ready to go. We've put lots of additional measures in place to reassure our guests that we're ready to welcome them back to Thorpe Park Resort, such as social distancing on our rides, yep. obviously reduce the capacity on our rides to adhere to social distancing and follow those government guidelines. And you've got parks around the world, so if you like, there was a blueprint that was almost ready for you. Absolutely. Merlin Entertainment's operate attractions all around the world and we've had the benefit of that shared best practice from how we operate. So we've reopened businesses in Australia, New Zealand, yeah. the Far East and Europe. So yes, we, we've learned and we're ready to go. OK, well, I'm ready to go too. Enjoy. Thank you, Neil. Good to see you. Uh, you're going to have to wear a face mask when you go on the ride, uh, perhaps very obviously because people will be screaming. And I'm sure... Morning, Ross. Morning, Michael. How are you? I'm sure, uh, you know, I'm going to be screaming as well. So this is stealth. Uh, it's based on a motor racing circuit, so I've got the lights up in front of me here. Fastest roller coaster in the UK. <laughs> uh, it'll do 80 miles an hour, 0 to 80 in 1.8 seconds. And I think I'm about to experiencing, I'm about to experience that now. So you may or may not be able to hear me scream. Uh, as you take off, the camera takes your photo. Uh, here we go, red lights on. When the red lights go off, it's green light, and then we are ready to ride. Whoa! Look, 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 look! Oh, you feel, you feel every bit of that. Oh, my God, Dale! And it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, 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 <laughs> It seems to stop as quickly as it takes off. So you get that incredible acceleration at the beginning. That incredible acceleration at the beginning of the ride. You sort of feel as if your stomach travels, is pushed into the back of your chest, travels down your spine, uh, right down to the bottom of your spine. And then it shoots back up again as you get to the top of the arch, 205 feet high and then your stomach goes right back down again as you scream down the bottom side. I almost swallowed my face mask. Um, it's a shame you're not supposed to touch your face, really, because I think I'd have my head in my hands by now. Uh, well, you, uh, your fun. hair, your hair, without you telling us what you'd just been through, which, by the way, we <laughs> sat here and I screeched for you, um, your hair tells the story <laughs> at the moment, John, because that... Yeah. <laughs> Is it still there? Just Is about. it still on my head? Just about, just about. It's there, but well done. And you're doing it again in the next hour, so anyone who missed it, get it. Different one. <laughs> different one next hour, I think. A different one. Uh, John, thanks very much. It's interesting, <laughs> isn't it? Seeing, I mean, it's lovely seeing a bit of normal, in a way, isn't it? We're, a few images we're showing this morning. It's like Ben, who's in a pub, and there's a little bit of normal. And alongside all of that, of course, we are emphasising this morning those people who are less content with, you know, the, the speed at which things are opening up and those questions. Uh, we're asking as well. Um, school, let's talk.